Alright, yeah, and welcome back on into some more Magic Arena. So, for this weekly deck series, we're going to be playing a deck called Thelona Lifekin. The reason why it's called Thelona Lifekin is actually because it is a rebuild of a deck from another content creator, another friend of the channel, Thelona. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel because he has a deck of his own, a different version that is in Bant. Uh, I blew, built mine in blue-white, but his is also pretty degenerate. He's built a pretty, pretty fun deck for the person who is piloting it, let's say. Um, if you hate Turbo Fog, you're gonna hate this deck, honestly. Um, but it's basically revolving around Aetherflux Reservoir as a win condition, but it also gains a hell of a lot of life in the early game, up to the point where we can flip a Primal Amulet and then use the Primal Wellspring side of it to copy Nexus of Fates and take infinite turns. So it's a combo list, but it also it appears as though it's kind of controlly in a way as well. Uh, we have wipes to slow down our opponent. We have Supreme Wills as our only main board counter, but it can often hit a few things. So check out the deck tick if you haven't already. Uh, and be sure to check out the Lona's channel as well. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, I, I personally really enjoy his content. He's one of the few YouTube uh, content creators for Magic that I actually watch. So I highly recommend checking out his channel. If you do enjoy this deck, be sure to do that. So without further ado, let's get into the games and I'll see you there. Okay, we're in. On the draw, we've got two cantrips and a lot of our endgame stuff. Honestly, I think think this is just a mulligan. We don't really need to see any of these three cards for a very long time, so I'm just going to throw it back. Uh, uh, that sounds worse. But do I want to go down further? I think the answer is no, and we're going to keep that. Alright, so we got turn one opt, turn two nothing, turn three ritual. It's possible that this opt can actually hit something for turn two. Our opponent's on red-green, which probably means this is going to be a good matchup for us. Compass. Uh, my opponent's trying to do something slow. We're going to keep the Renewed Faith. The cycle on two is what we're looking for. Alright, any, any matchup where life is heavily relevant in this case, it looks like... I don't even know, to be honest. Ugh. I honestly have no idea what this is. I thought it might be Dinos with the Mighty Compass for no reason, but apparently it was not. Alright. Oh yeah, I've got Auto Tap on. Let's, uh, let's try that out for a bit, shall we? Now we've got Supreme Will ready to go, but we're likely just going to be uh, ritualing anyway. Opponent hunting for some lands. This is maybe um, the Worm deck? If it is, we're probably going to get where we want to be a lot quicker than our opponent. Let's Ritual. In the early game, the life gain can matter, but it's mostly just to redraw, thin out our deck, and do some fun stuff. Okay, I'm just going to play planes past the turn. Opponent will grab another land with Compass, that's fine. As long as we're hitting our land drops, it shouldn't really matter that our opponent is. Yeah, going for all that blue. Is the blue for counter spells or is it for like Nexus of Fates? Grow from the ashes. Um, that was with Kicker as well. He could curve into something also ramping with Compass. I think I'm just going to commit this, slow him down a bit. We do want a memory in the graveyard, it helps us combo off really well. There's nothing for three mana that we'd want to play on our turn, so I'm just going to pass. And just revitalize on his turn, maybe Supreme Will if it comes to it. I'm not going to think twice about playing into our open mana by the looks of things. Okay. I want to keep the Supreme Will because he might be running counters and if he is then I definitely 
definitely want to have a counter open at some point. Although, the longer the game goes on, the less likely it is to be good. Okay. Grabs a land. He's going to be able to flip his compass, but that is completely... Uh, as far as the card is concerned, it's pretty dead. We're not getting in with Creature Beats. We're winning with Ether Flux Reservoir, so... Really, it's just ramp for him. And the fact that he's committed as many resources to it is pretty good. Last minute land grab. He might regret that, because if we hit Nexus of Fate, we're going to be able to use it. And likelihood is our opponent won't be able to counter it. We'll see. Yep. Useless campuses. Who are not? Okay. Ideally, we do want to have ourselves a very Merry Christmas. Um, an amulet down, but. Vegas Cap chooses. Let's try to take an extra turn. We get one. Alright. Which basically is just a land drop for us, but it's better than nothing. Let's opt. Bottom that. We are hitting far too many lands for our own good. Renewed Faith. Let's cycle that. Ritual. Alright, at this point, we're going to pass. We're going to hold open Supreme Will. Ritual if we don't need it. Or if we can't use it. Hostile Desert. Interesting. Suppose it's uh, an uncounterable creature. More lands, Jesus Christ, come on. We're at 39 cards. When we get to about 30, it's similar to uh, Turbo Fog is this list. Um, in the sense that once we get down to about 30, we start seeing Nexus of Fates pretty consistently. Seriously. Alright. I see how it is, game. I see how it is. Pass. Alright. <laughs> I seriously don't know what my opponent's deck is. It's weird. Ritual. Alright, land drop. And the more lands we get into play, the less that memory is going to hit for us, which is nice. I'm just going to keep passing. My opponent, I'm assuming, thinks I'm playing blue-white control with some really weird choices. It's usually the impression I get when I play against my opponents. They think I've got more counter spells than I actually do. And there's the Sifter Worm. Okay. So we're going to go hunting for a commit, I guess. We get a Primal Amulet instead. Sure. We're at 39 life, so really, this isn't all that bad for us. Your life total is irrelevant until it's over 50. My life total is irrelevant as long as I'm not at zero. So he gets to scry three and gain life equal to the top card of his deck. Tops two and what bottoms one. Gets an hour of promise, so five life. That's fine. But we should be in a pretty good spot now, because now we get to go Primal Amulet. And we might be able to flip it this turn, if Supreme Will is kind to us. Um, yeah, let's try flip it with Supreme Will. Has our opponent gotten a braid? Ouch! That sucks. Alright, Supreme Will's probably, yeah, gonna get me another amulet anyway. We just have to get lucky and find ourselves a cantrip. We do have memory as a uh, uber cantrip. <laughs> so it's not the end of the world. Another abrade, though, is just gonna really suck. Hour of Promise. Sure. Totally fine. These Sifter Worm decks, though, they can be pretty crazy. I think they're running Nexus Fate these days. 
So our opponent might just take an extra turn here and then... That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Does he have the Nexus? Now's the time to cast it. He has a commit. Okay. And then shuffles it away. Little did he know, I was planning to shuffle it away anyway. Uh, let's just go get some blue. Because I'm probably just going to cast memory here. Refill my hand. Fumigate. Okay. I could be encouraged to go for a fumigate instead. Hmm. Yeah, let's just fumigate. Slow my opponent down. I could memory here. I really don't mind. It refills my opponent's hand, but mine gets full, and that's usually just good enough with this amount of mana to just win the game. But I could be encouraged to just wait a little longer. Hmm. It's a six mana draw seven, though. I'm gonna go for it. I don't mind. Hmm. Okay. Deck size is back up to 40, so I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. But if we do hit ourselves a Primal Amulet, we can flip it on the same turn. And likely in response to an Abrade as well. Sift a Worm, don't care. Might care about what it hits, though, if he gets himself a Nexus of Fate. Gets another Sifter Worm. Sure. Has he got a Nexus? Oh, he might do. He's tapping his special lands. Ah, he's got growth on the ashes. Ah, oh, fair enough. I guess Nexus of Fate for us is also top tier. Ha, <laughs> Fumigate. Right, so we're going to play a land. We are going to... Uh, I guess we anticipate, look for Primal Amulet. We whiff... Uh, let's cycle farmland. Look for an amulet. We get a commit. Mm. Try opting. Another supreme will. Let's bottom that. Come on. Come on! Probably not going to play it down into the board anyway until we can respond to an abrade. Reservoir. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn, I think. I can commit a Nexus of Fate now. He's got less cards in his deck than we do. Oh dear. So I don't care about the Sifter Worm because I can just fumigate the board when he plays the next one. Yeah, so I just take seven. Grow from the ashes is completely fine. Is that one land he got? He's got no more lands left in his deck. Jeez. End of turn. Right, so we are going to Supreme Will. Go digging. Seriously. Grab an Anticipate. 
That deck is seriously giving us a bad time. Alright, there's Primal Amulet. Um, I'm going to keep the Revitalize. We get a land drop. So, play Primal Amulet. So we can revitalize, ritual, ritual. It's going to cost us three white mana, so we can't actually fumigate on this turn. But we should be able to flip Primal Amulet, hopefully find a Nexus of Fate, which allows us to take extra turns. Our opponent's going to abrid us in response, and that's when we go for the kill. Nexus. Six mana. Um. Hmm. I think we commit the abrid. Convince our opponent to maybe go for another one. So we don't actually have to flip this Primal Amulet right now. So we're just going to pass. He's got a braid on top. So we do things in response to the abrade. Scavenger Grounds is kind of annoying, actually. In a weird way. But we've got the flip on the amulet, which means two extra turns with Nexus of Fate. If he doesn't have the card in hand to take care of amulet. I'm hoping he goes like, draw a card. A braid. So he's got one in hand. So we try go off here. Oh, we need an opt in order for him to not be able to take care of it here. Because we don't actually have more white mana. Is he letting that trigger go? No. No, he's going for the arch here. Yeah. Arch draw. And then he gets it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you suck, Magic Arena. That was exactly what we needed. Uh, Supreme Will could go grab me another... Another amulet. And we could get back to flipping it again. Okay, so... Field of Ruin, Supreme Will, search for an amulet. Oh my god. This deck has done nothing but hate me all day. Okay. Let's try Cycle Renewed Faith. Yeah. Still whiff. Take an extra turn. Don't tell me you got a counter. Really? Okay. Well, we get that later. Which is fine. Actually... He's got a way of dealing with this, actually. He can rivulet it into the graveyard, and that just shuffles it back in. Which is fine. <laughs> this has been the most obnoxious game with this deck ever, and it's actually our deck that's making it obnoxious. Okay. I think he's going for Hostile Desert. Yeah. 
Sure. That's 10 damage. It's four turns of this. Which is completely fine. Yeah. We can handle that. I need this top card to be an amulet. I really do. There's four in this deck and we've seen like one at a time. Constantly. Is he gonna memory? <laughs> oh baby. I'm all for that. Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tap out. I'm gonna enjoy the extra cards that my opponent's gonna give me. He can commit to this board as much as he wants, but I'm very, very likely to get myself my own fumigate. Ooh. Interesting. So now I draw, like, a ton of Nexus of Fates. Because he's actually just gotten rid of... Oh my god. Deck! Deck! Uh, well, at least we got the Fumigates. <laughs> there should be no reason why I shouldn't draw at least one Nexus of Fate from all of that. Jeebus Christ. All right. Not the end of the world. Has he used both of his commit to memories? He's used one. So likely he's got another. But we've got another Fumigate, so... We got that going for us. Let's just uh, Fumigate the board. Yep. Cycle of farmland. Take an extra turn. <laughs> He's got that commit, haven't you? God! Damn it! Oh my god, this is obnoxious. I'm supposed to be playing the obnoxious deck. <sighs> okay. Take it away. How many cards have we got left? 22, and three of them are Nexus of Fate. And four of them are Primal Amulets. And both of those are very good for me. He's got 20 cards in his deck. I like this deck, it's fun. But God, if he can't superbly draw, commit to memories. Speaking of, I've lost both of mine, so actually, if I lose both of my Aetherflux Reservoirs, I lose the game. But that shouldn't be too likely to happen. But I can't refill my hand anymore. Unless he refills it for me. Which would be dead kind of him. All that mana. No idea what to do with it. Rivulets me. Sure. Good luck with that. Supreme Will and Ritual there. He's trying to mill me when I've got Nexus of Fates. Which is just not going to work for him. Okay. It's a Nexus of Fate. <laughs> Sanguine Sacrament and a Revitalize. Both of those are completely fine to go into my graveyard. If he makes me do it, I will take 20 turns in a row. <laughs> and he scoops it up. Yeah. Um, about that. Okay, so... What do we want here? Hmm. 
a tough one. I mean, I could negate all of his ramp spells. That's, uh, that's maybe a plan as well as his abrades. Um, counter target blue spell. Don't really care for that. We only saw commit to memory. And honestly, uh, it's not really much of a an issue for me. Cast outs to hit sifter worms, possibly. I think I'd rather settle than cast out, though. And he is amulet thing majig. His compass is just not on my radar. Silent Gravestone doesn't hit anything as far as I'm aware. So I think I'm going to bring in Settles. Uh, we need to cut six cards. Let's cut Sanguine Sacrament. Uh, Let's go down. I honestly don't even know if we need Settle the Wreckages, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. Cut an Opt and a Gate. And Ritual reju Rejuvenation. Let's play the slower game. Hmm. Yeah, like our opponent trying to mill us there was only going to help us because he was essentially just thinning our deck. And if we can get Reservoir down and play Nexus of Fate, we're pretty much like three cards in our deck. We just Nexus of Fate, Nexus of Fate, Nexus of Fate forever. And we gain one life every turn we do that on a, a Reservoir. So we just win that way. Opponent can't really change too much about that. I imagine he's going to bring in a lot of artifact hate. Which is going to be the test for this deck. Because I've mostly played it in best of one. And in best of one it's disgusting. It's actually like the worst to play against. And that's with all the sideboard tech. Not in the main board as well. That's with the starting deck as you currently see it. It's very good in best of one. I'd almost peg it at tier one, to be honest. Okay, Mean Bob. What you got? He is on the play. So what we want in our hand is essentially a lot of cantrips and probably just a fumigate. Maybe some negates as well to stop his ramp. Slow him down, essentially. Which is uh, all we really want to be doing is just slowing the game down to a crawl until we've got enough lands to Nexus and maybe a Primal Amulet as well to copy all of our spells. Because once we've actually flipped a Primal Amulet, it's very unlikely that we're going to lose unless we were in a significantly poor situation to begin with. <laughs> so it looks like my opponent doesn't want to play best of three with us today. Uh... Don't know what to say about that, other than I don't really blame you all that much. This, uh, this deck is degenerate and awful. So yeah, I think our opponent scoops it up. Alright, well, sometimes it happens. Well, we're going to leave it off here, guys. Maybe we'll uh, get ourselves a best of three some other time, but yeah. This deck uh, in best of one is disgusting to begin with. Burning Fist Minotaur. Meh. Uh, this deck is bad to begin with to play against. Um, but, you know, I don't really blame our opponent. You can get up to a, like 200 life without seeing an Aetherflux Reservoir to actually win. It's very slow, uh, is this deck. And honestly, if you hit Turbo Fog, you could probably hit this deck being in the ladder as well, because it's not that far off from it. I personally don't really hate Turbo Fog, because I know when I've lost to it, but, you know. Maybe next time we'll get a best of three. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to check out Felona's channel as well. He is the brainchild of this particular idea. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below as well. Be sure to do that. Friend of the channel makes as janky content as I do as well. Um, but other than that, like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and that'll give you notifications when I release videos in the future. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.